Okay. Spirit, I implore you, please uh, show me something interesting. Give me a sign. Uh, Spirit, I do a lot of imploring. And if you could just be a bro and, and show me something interesting. Uh, give me a sign, perhaps. Slam the door behind me. Something to uh, make me really believe in ghosts and ghouls and, and stuff like that. Anything, Spirit, would... Oh! <gasps> Okay, no, still actually not what, not a spirit. Here's how that was done, and the angle on the ZVE-10 is going to show you everything I did. I basically, if you remember a video I did a couple weeks ago, I did the whole thing of dental floss and a door and whatnot. However, I discovered in most modern buildings, the doors are designed and built to more or less close automatically as soon as they don't have pressure on them. That's what you see me doing here. So I decided to MacGyver myself a device. I basically punched two holes in a plastic door jam, and then I threaded a rip cord through it, or paracord rather, and just yanked it very, very hard. The, again, the angle from the ZVE-10, you can probably make out the actual door jam uh, slipping when I push the, the cord. I did this in one take and this took me two minutes and 40 seconds to create and I actually tried to get it on video. Problem is, is I didn't press the record button on the dang Sony. Uh, so that's what happened with with this but I was it was honestly difficult for me to make it because my hands were out of the frame of uh, the camera and whatnot, you know, I'm still kind of new to, to adding a second camera into the mix. And it made it cumbersome, as, but still, two minutes and 40 seconds with materials that I bought, I purchased, with the exception of the paracord, I purchased this stuff at a Dollar Tree. Well, I wanna thank uh, everybody who, you know, watches this, and hey, you know, if you can be at Luna Gallery tomorrow on Thursday at 6.30 p.m., uh, please be there. Please have a digital camera. Please have a laptop that has uh, OpenShot, the program OpenShot on it. Thank you.